Welcome to Hella Real News with your host, Mei Bei Tautua. So, last Friday, Tyrese won joint custody of his 10 year old daughter, Shayla. Under all the allegations of child abuse, Tyrese, who has now earned the nickname Cry Reese, has publicly blamed his ex-wife Nora Gibson for the fall of his career, stating that he hopes she's happy that no one wants to hire him anymore. He went further down the list of blaming Dwayne The Rock Johnson for his monetary woes and family issues. According to TMZ, he even made an emotional plea to the court saying that his body reacted badly to his prescribed medications. Now, I feel like what we should be teaching this youth is that we should be teaching and preaching abstinence to these children. Or she just could have been on birth control. Simple as that. God did not make us the way we are, sir, to put medicine in our body that just plays with the laws that he created for us, sir. What you should be teaching your children is not to have sex before marriage. No, that just takes all the way to all the fun in the world. Sex is fun, but do it safely. Sex is should be between a man and a woman when they are in holy matrimony, sir. Anything out of that is just not godly. Listen, man, it's 2017, equal rights. Everybody has the freedom to do whatever the hell they want. That is true, sir. We do live in a nation in America. But in America, we have values, sir. Good Christian values. So, thank you both. Uh, now moving on to the next topic. After her current breakup with The Weeknd, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber have been spotted publicly spending time with each other. They were currently caught kissing at one of his weekly hockey games, having brunch together, and even going to church. It might be a little too early to bring back the hashtag Jelena, but they are taking it slow and keeping things real low-key as friends. They are not officially back together. I like that. Good young couples going to church together. Now, I don't condone the kissing in public. I feel like that should be behind closed doors where no one else can see. But hey, these kids are having good, wholesome fun. The only problem I have with Selena is she was born and bred in Texas and she's been dating these immigrants. Bieber, Canadian. The weekend, weekday, Friday, Tuesday, I don't care. Canadian. That's not right. She should go look herself and get herself one of them good old American boys. Okay, hold up. I got a question for you. Yes, sir. So why do all Mexicans end up taking all the jobs in America then? The Mexicans take all the jobs because Americans aren't given those jobs because the Mexicans are just taking them, sir. That makes no sense. Most of the immigrants take jobs that most Americans don't want to do to begin with. But they're taking opportunities from hard-working Americans. Heck, my pappy build this nation, sir, and I don't appreciate you talking to me like that. So, so your pappy was immigrant? Then? My pappy was born in here. Was born in immigrant. Was born in America. Was the one who fought for this country, shed blood for this country, met my grandmama Hello. in this country. Okay. Sorry, okay. sorry, breaking this news. Breaking, breaking news alert. Um, I've heard that uh, we've had some crazy things happening. Flo, could you tell us a little bit about the weather? Flash floods. Let's look at the five-day forecast. Tornadoes have made it to where it is at the end of the world. It's, that's really wrong grammar. Uh, that'll about to wrap it up. Back to you. All right, and that's all we have for today. Thank you again for tuning in to Hello Real News with your host, Maybe Tautua. Fair Luz. And Fernando.